So you want to add Flutter into your Shopify in this step-by-step -step tutorial, let's see how we can do this. If you guys don't know what Flutter is, it's an amazing place where we can just receive the money in four different ways. So in order to do this, what you want to do is to have your Shopify already been opened. As you can see, I have my dashboard here. So what I want to do really, really quick is to go and look out for settings that appears into, into the very down part. And here I want to look out for payments. Once you hit into payments, what you want to do is to look out for choose a provider just in case you haven't choose any provider or go into manage so in our case we want to look out for choose a provider and here I want to look out for the filter third-party payment providers and I want to look out for Klarna. Once I have found that this option, I want to choose the option that says Klarna added, and we are now successfully done. In the scenario that you don't find Klarna, just as I don't can find this into my actual Shopify, you don't have to be disappointed about that. What we want to do is to figure it out with kind of other methods we do have available into your actual country. For example, if I go into the Klarna, I want to scroll a little bit down and see what are the payment methods that Klarna uh, has to enable so if i scroll all my way up and i find for example i want to look out for apple payment so for example let's say that i just want to receive the money using american express paypal and this cover so i want to hit into the x mark and here's going to be appearing all the different methods that i can choose just in case I can't see Klarna available. Lastly, what I can truly suggest to you, if you still just want to use Klarna and you haven't seen this into your Shopify, what you want to do is to look out for payments once again. And if you scroll all your way uh, down, you're gonna be seeing the option that says manual payment methods. So this one are made outside this online store. When a customer selects a manual payment method, such as cash and delivery, you'll need to approve their order before it can be fulfilled. So what you're going to go is to look out for add manually payment method. And here you want to look out for create custom payment method. So here what you want to do is to import your information of Klona, for example, your username, uh, your email, and you can import that in here. So they can be sent it redirected. They can be redirected, of course, into Klona, and you want to provide, of course, your URL, a custom, URL from Klarna into your Shopify. So once you have successfully approved that payment, you can now start to sell here into Shopify. So those are just like a few alternatives just in case you still want to use Klarna. If you don't mind to use another third party, as you can see, there are actually a bunch of other options that we can choose depending on the actual provider and the payment option that you want to accept into your website. With that being said, we have reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. And I will see you next time.